Hey, welcome back to Raza. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the Fashion model. This is a series on generative AI. And for sure, generative AI has captured everyone's imagination in 2022 with stable diffusion, creating high quality image samples. So let's dive in. So before getting started, I would like to uh, share with you the three papers to understand more about diffusion model. So the first one is Denoise and Diffusion Probabilistic Models. Uh, so this paper present what high quality image synthesis with diffusion model or with the diffusion probabilistic models can do. And the second one is diffusion models beat GANs on image synthesis. So this goes into deeper uh, into how schedulers work and how you can denoise the things uh, and how it is better than GANs. Uh, the third one is learning transferable visual models from natural language supervision. It goes into the uh, contrastive learning losses and uh, the clip data set, how to connect a text to data into image data and what goes into it. So all these three papers has been given in the description below to check out. So let's discuss about the diffusion model. Diffusion models are inspired by non-equilibrium thermodynamics that de they define a Markov chain of diffusion steps where they slowly add the noise or random noise to the data. So there are a uh, lot of technical stuff, uh, technical terms like uh, Markov chain and noise. So let's see what that means. So a Markov chain is a chain of events which only depends on its previous previous event, not uh, the event before it or the event before it. So there's no cross dependencies of events. So T plus one uh, will only be affected by the events of T and not T minus one. So, uh, there are no cross dependencies of events, and each event is a random event or a stochastic event. So, now after understanding Markov chain, let's understand what does it mean by adding noise to images. So, uh, let's suppose we have to construct uh, construct this image by adding noise in this image at t minus one. So, in this t minus 1 is uh, t is only dependent on t minus 1 that means it follows a Markov chain and uh, the noise is sampled from a Gaussian so suppose uh, we uh, xt is the output here and this is the mean this is the mean that is only dependent on the pixels of xt minus 1 or the events that is in t minus 1 and uh, identity matrix and beta t. So beta t is nothing but scaling, a scaling factor. So what does it mean by adding noise to the images? Suppose we take two pixels from this image, p1 and p2. What does that mean by pixels? Pixels is nothing but RGB. Suppose we are taking only the red channel that and how what is the range of rg it's 0 to 255 suppose we are taking two pixels 150 that means if we make a gaussian with uh this mean and this variance suppose the variance is 10 then uh it's most likely that the next pixels will occur or exist in this area than these. That means 90 to 110 and uh, 40 to 60. Of course, that will be the P1 and P2 at T. So suppose we keep adding noise uh, to each image and 
at certain step after many many step it will become unrecognizable which one is the object and which one is the noise like to separate us like physically so it is very important to keep in mind that we have to make sure that the two conditions are satisfied the first situation is the that the last image the uh, the sample from this the noise sample from the last image should be an isotropic gaussian and that means it is equidistant in all direction the uh, the uh, the gaussian is equidistant in all the directions and the second is that it is scaled the image has been scaled uh, properly with beta so these are the two situations that has to be uh, that has to be followed if we want to reverse the process and make the uh, actual image or train a function or a model that can recreate the image from the noise so for the function or the model uh, to learn to regenerate the previous image there are two ways one is either you try to find the uh, mean and variance of the previous image and the second way is to model the noise so noise is predicted in such a way that it approximately is equal to the noise that has been added during the forward process now let's talk about generating image with textual prompt now we can use glide to integrate the textual information into image generation with diffusion model. The backward diffusion also takes prompt into account for class conditioning in the diffusion model. Guidance on what type of image to generate. Text information is not enough to train, so we came across clip guided diffusion at inference was introduced. And the idea is to use a model so that it becomes better at generating images bit corresponding to the text. Clip is trained to produce similarity score between the text and image and we will uh, see how Clip works in the next segment. But Glide denoys the image condition on text. Further guidance is provided by the Clip by adding gradient of text image similarity. So Clip plays a very important role in stable diffusion and other image generation from text. It first converts the image into its representable forms vectors like I. And it takes the sentence like pepper the uh, pop into text. And it tries to maximize, maximize when uh, when it kind of gives the description of the image uh, we can say and minimize on every other data so we know that it has been taken like first image to the first text and basically we are trying to find the best text that can describe this image and minimize it on another text so that's why it's contrasted right uh, to maximize on the text that it's describing its best but also to minimize which is which are not describing it the best so this is what happens in contrast to learning image pre training and it plays a very important role in stable diffusion DALI etc hey do make sure to check out the link in the description which uh, you know uh, has a collab, collab file that you can use directly with the pipeline and give it a prompt to generate images like a photographer of an astronaut riding a horse and this diffusion ip1nb also is a good resource if you want to play around with the uh, schedulers and you know generate images with the noise so there are different examples that you can follow so thank you everyone for joining uh this first episode of generative ai and do let me know in the comment section what else should i cover in the generative ai series thank you